Trenton Core race fans, they're going Fetzer Electric, green flag racing! As they go down into turns one and two, your leader right now is the E15 of Mitch Gordon, and we've got Jeremy Hare around on the bottom of turns one and two. He's sitting there sideways in the middle of turns one and two. Still sitting over there sideways in the middle of one and two, and race fans, we're gonna have a Cottingham Insurance caution. And we're back here for your Hobby Stock A-Main event on championship night. Down the front straightaway, Mitch Gordon. Seth Keller and Derek Amber gets to the high side of Carly Horner. Horner, she stumbled just a little bit on that start, and she's running back there in the top four, but look at Appert. Appert's trying to clinch that track championship here tonight, and he's going to the lead. Derek Appert to the front, and there's still three wide up front between Seth Keller, Mitch Gordon, Derek Appert, as lap one goes to Appert, and here they come down the front straightaway. Appert trying to make his life as easy as possible in the road to the championship as he heads through turns one and two with the race lead. Your second place point runner right now, Bill Holbrook, still has a lot of work to do to make his way through the pack as they head out on the back straightaway on the second lap. It's still the 85 of Derek Appert out in front now, the 07 of Seth Al Keller moving into second in front of Mike Appert in the B20. Boy, we've got cars all over the place over there on the high side of three and four as we've got Joshua Feist sitting over there in the middle of turns three and four as we go down the back straightaway and we have our second Cottingham Insurance caution here. Oh. Up front it is Derek Appert, your leader with Mike Appert and Seth Al Keller running right there in the battle for second there at three and four wide deep we're in the pack but up front it's all Appert out of Hazleton as he leads the charge through turns one and two. The battle is back there deeper in the pack between Altberg, Sandberg, Kohler and a Terry Davenport. The driver that's been on the move is Kelly Horner. Horner started deep in the field and he has marched his way up to the front and we've got Carnage in turns three and four. They thundered on the front straightaway into corners one and two. Appert's still going to maintain the lead in front of Mike Appert in the B20 and Seth Halkeller. They'll go side by side off of turn two. Get a little squirrely as they head down the back straightaway with the 4D of Rourke now trying to go to the outside of the B20. They'll come around this time by to complete lap number four. 11 laps remaining for your hobby stocks. Yeah, it looks like that 07 to Seth Keller is right on the rear bumper of Derek Appert. He's not letting him get away as he's got the run through the middle of turns one and two. And he's to the bottom on a turn. Number two, the driver that made the most on that restart was the 4D machine of Rourke in the E98 machine of Jeremy Hare. Jeremy is now looking to the bottom of the track along with the 4D of Rourke and the 29 machine of Terry Davenport. He has worked his way up to the top eight as we got another lap loud and a battle for the lead. They are two and three wide mid-pack as they continue through turns one and two. The 07 of Seth Alcala trying to work that low groove as they head down the back straightaway. Appert and Warwick battle for third, followed by the E98 of Hare and the E15 of Mitch Gordon. And Elal Holberg moves in front of Randolph in the battle for seventh as the 55S of Dylan Sandberg slow down the back straightaway. The last couple week winner, Dylan Sandberg with trouble heading into turn three. Yeah, he's gonna pull it in the pits and we got carnage in turns three and four. Green flag racing for your hobby stocks. Down into turns one and two. It is the E85 machine of Appert and the 07 machine of Seth Al Keller. Appert now goes to the bottom as Seth Al Keller has to break just a little bit going through turns one and two, and he loses some momentum down the back straightaway as Jeremy Harris now past the 4D of work into that four spot. This time by Appert's got the lead as he comes out. Six laps remaining as Rourke is the lone guy on the high side. We're going to try to work the high side now of the race right, as they head down to turns one and two once again. Your top four are trying to single file themselves out as Rourke still fights back in that fifth position. Holberg now moving up to the sixth, one spot closer to the front as Arangelov gets a little sideways out of turn two. That's going to lose him a spot or two as they head down to turn three as Hel Hal Keller is side by side with your leader once again as the 62 of Kohler is around in three and four. It looks like we're going to stay green so far, but Seth Hal Keller, he's digging like Dale down low. Trying to get by that E85 machine of Derek Appert as he goes down into turns three and four. Right now we got five laps remaining. They're gonna have four laps as they come by this time. And right now it is Derek Appert and Jeremy Harris crack the top three. As they head down the back straightaway, next time by they'll see the white flag. Appert trying to hold on to that lead and the championship going through turns three and four. No change in the top five or six as they come around this time by with the white flag in the air. One lap remaining for Derek Appert up front in the E85 machine as he goes down into turns one and two. Seth Al Keller running right there in second with Jeremy Hare in third and the battle is raging for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Down the back straightaway into turns three and four for the final time as he comes out of turn number four. Our race fans give him the West River chiropractic checkered flag. It's Derek Appert. 